Hello, welcome back to another episode of Borderlands 2 Creek Let's Play. So we left off, I just exited this area, but I decided to go back and search for the recording. I think this is it. Pretty easy to see when you're going back through it. I'm rising! I notice you're not buying any of my guns. <coughs> Maybe you're worried my wares aren't deadly enough for you. With that in mind, please accept this complimentary crate of Marcus Munitions Weaponry. If you like what you find, maybe we can make a deal. Once you go Marcus Munitions, you'll never go back us munitions. <laughs> well, that's a complete bloodshot memories. I always like things like that for background story. But my favorite ones are definitely the echo recorders you find later on that actually deal with the four main characters. Axton, uh, Maya, who are the other two? Zero and... Oh, I can't remember what his name is. The Gunzerker, I know what his class is. Is this like an S or something? Oh, oh well. Sell Except all this extra Jack. things I have. Ducking you, you, you. Or all these grenade mods. Good luck! Good
so. Now to strike your face from my fingernails! Do I have any? Yes, I do. Uh, fire, no. Uh, what should we go for? Shield recharge rate, yes. What the hell yeah. just hit me? Grind, grind, grind! Kill, kill, kill! Oh. <coughs> bonuses. Yeah, the amount of shield is not worth the horrible playoffs. a weapon for this area.
Uh, radio first. <clears throat> we have enough for upgrades. Uh, I'll save yeah, until bud. after I play the slots a bit. Hmm, that package. more shield than I have, I don't lose health and a chance to absorb any bullets. It's all around awesome. Let's see what this the latest propaganda in. is. And the now, for the latest edition of This Just In with Hunter Hellquist. A warning to Pandora. The bandit leader known as Roland has escaped from Hyperion custody. Hide your loved ones. Store your belongings and buy the biggest Hyperion gun you can find. <laughs> Roland has been recorded as missing since the liberation of New Haven. He is to be considered dangerous and very, very, very armed. <laughs> it is unfortunate the mutants could not be tamed. They would have been useful allies. Good thing I didn't get that shotgun. See the numbers, this thing is pretty nice. Two armor per shot, yeah, but increased magazine size, much more damage. Accuracy grows down, who cares? Fire rate, not as much, oh well. You know what, that accuracy seems fine to me. I'm going to now just sell all my items and play the slot machines. Cut right back, if anything good, or after I finish. Holy crap. Again? And a double in this one? This is epic. I've never gotten this much iridium. Well, back to playing more. Okay, didn't get much else after that, but it doesn't matter, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's continue with a bit more questing. This quest, now we have to... <gasps> Kill uh, someone who's been spying on Mill. Oh, yeah. Should have just walked out of sanctuary. Oh well. This will get me there quick enough. Yeah, I didn't buy any more upgrades with my iridium since I'm at 39. It's only 11 more or three more piles to uh, 50, which will give me three more inventory slots, which I really want. Could buy more ammo, but I did just get a shield that gives me ammo and people shoot me. And if you haven't noticed, I get shot quite often. Yeah, yeah, you're barely hurting me. This is a pretty short question, take me too long. Defeat bowl. A level seven? Yeah, not really worth it. So close to level sixteen too. 
Okay. <clears throat> now, let's see. I think there was an achievement. Where are we? Three horns divide. Got all the way to the bottom for the area achievements. Kill bow without hurting any of his porn snow skags. Okay. Love a good challenge. Yeah, that was bad. So, how are things? Oh, I should have just teleported to my vehicle. shots off. Confirmed dead after the liberation of New Haven. We will need to listen to your footage before payment can be processed. Leave the echoes in the attached dead drop locations. Find those echoes, killer. If Hyperion finds out I'm alive and working with the Crimson Raiders, it could be New Haven all over again. Damn. Ooh, there's one right here. I like this place. Hyperion shouldn't be able to find you here. Thanks. I tried to make it very... Gruesome? I was gonna say cozy. You've strapped charred bandit corpses around the entrance. Corpses <laughs> can be cozy. Kinda like our place in New Haven before... Um... Yeah, I'm going now. <sighs> Suave, Lilith. So what's the emergency? I... liquefied the guy. Come again. I was out hunting and I Up found some of that six. iridium stuff and one of those weird worshipper guys sees me and I chase him down and grab him and Look just... <laughs> Liquefied? It was awesome. I don't know if it's because of the vault opening or being a siren or both, but this iridium stuff is the tits. You look really <laughs> pale. Yeah, I passed out a few times, but this could <laughs> be huge. Okay, but why not just send an echo? Why call me out here and increase the risk of Hyperion finding out you're still working with the Crimson Raiders? Uh, uh, um, because you... How, how are you doing? Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave now. Okay. I can't believe I managed to park it right there. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Jack just left him for dead in the snow, evidently. The raiders could use the help. You should track them down. Another vault hunter, huh? I'll see if I can contact him by echo on my way back to Sanctuary. Good. You can go now. Well, I'm sorry. 
I just got here. I'm a little busy waging a one-woman war on every bandit in the tundra, so you can focus on taking down Jack. But hey, if you want to hang out, I can just give up this Firehawk thing and let the bloodshots overrun Sanctuary. Uh, no, no, uh, no you're, you're right, of course. Are you sure? I can make Coco. We can talk about boys. <laughs> I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just talk to you once I find the Vault Hunter. I'm sorry for... Well, I'm sorry. Here you go, Lilith. Play hard to get. That's how you do it. Okay, what other quests do I have? Train to catch Mighty Morphin. Ooh, this could be a fun one. Yes, I really do want to do this one. I believe this one will give me a nice shield I can use. Although I do already have a nice shield. Oh, oh well. I am Incinerator Clayton, and you, I witnessed you enter the lair of the Firehawk. Swap out this for this. Return unharmed. If you truly wish to serve our mother, you must pass a test. Use a fire weapon to send my brothers to the <gasps> Eternal Flame. <laughs> then collect their ashes and return them to me. Huh. Burning people alive is mildly shady, but... These cultists sound like they want it. Which Just is weird. Leave. Do what he asks, I guess. Give me your uh, damn get ready for her! I have to run! Children now uh, know an ecstasy I can only dream of. Thank you, Torch. Return to me for further trials. Unfortunate news, Torch. There are idolaters among us. Children who have betrayed their one true mother, the Firehawk. They follow a heathen demigod known as Scorch. I implore you, destroy this pretender and all those who follow him. Who cares if they worship somebody else? Look, just play along. Clayton needs to trust you completely. If they've been doing anything that we need to stop, that's the only way you'll hear about it. Thank you. Oh, I haven't picked up that echo recorder over there. Your 
though. There we go. Related, so not that worried. Actually, maybe I'll just head this way now. Could be down there. Anything up here? Yes. One more <laughs> go. Let's look around this chest. Let's see if there's anything else this way. All that for loot. Uh, I'll go this way. I want to open up the entire map. And hopefully, if I'm lucky, the last one will be in here. Yeah, I'm going to start skipping past all these guys. Getting close to that end point. Someone knocking on the window. It's gonna quickly turn this in, and we'll end the episode here. These people are weird, but they only seem to hurt themselves and that scorch guy. <laughs> Maybe we should just leave them alone. The enkindling is almost upon us, Torch. But the Firehawk spoke to me in a dream and demanded another sacrifice. No, I didn't. The burning of her favorite son, the midget known as Matchstick. You must take him to the Soaring Dragon in the Southern Shelf 
and incinerate him within the jaws of the great mechanical beast who dwells there. I'm gonna end the episode here. If you like, like, and subscribe. If you don't, don't. But I'll see you next episode. Take care.